the woman Robbie McIntosh nearly murdered at court to see him sentenced. Linda MacDonald still suffers from flashbacks and nightmares following her ordeal. Moments later, McIntosh was led in. He'd already pleaded guilty to attempted murder. McIntosh's victim said he was expressionless as he walked past her in these woods, but Linda MacDonald then heard him running back. McIntosh smashed a dumbbell down onto her head. She was screaming for help as he dragged her into the woods. Two dog walkers heard those screams and McIntosh fled. These pictures show him shortly before last August's attack. A convicted murderer, he was on home leave at the time. He then calmly returns home. Less than an hour later, the police, aware he was out of jail, are there to arrest him. He had been due to go before a parole board in just a few days' time. McIntosh has now been placed on a lifelong restriction order. He may never be freed from prison. Experts concluded he's an enduring risk to the public. At the High Court in Aberdeen, the judge agreed with them. The author has concluded that your risk, certainly at this stage, is not amenable to change and has further indicated that she cannot foresee a time in the future when this might alter. It is of note that you have been assessed as having some psychopathic personality traits which are linked to your violence and impinge on the management of the risk presented by you. When Linda MacDonald and her family emerged from court, they gave their reaction to the sentence. We are confident in the judgment passed down on Macintosh today will hopefully mean that life means life. On the 7th of August 2017, the attack on my wife changed our life dramatically. In the months following the attack, our life has been an emotional roller coaster, and we aren't sure when this nightmare part will end. 16 years ago, McIntosh was convicted of a brutal murder in Dundee. He'd turned killer at the age of just 15. His victim then, also a lone woman, out walking her dog on the city's Law Hill. Anne Nicholl suffered 29 knife wounds. A witness said she'd been butchered. This former senior police officer has investigated some of Scotland's most notorious killers. He's in no doubt about Robbie McIntosh. McIntosh poses an extremely high risk of harm to the public. And in my mind, he should never be allowed back in the streets again. Robbie McIntosh faces many years in jail. Those he's wronged hope the authorities will never be persuaded to set him free. Andrew Anderson reporting Scotland at the High Court in Aberdeen.